I'm Steve Backhill, adventurer, explorer, and all-round daredevil. I've teamed up with the Brave Bones Club to teach some competition-winning adventurers how to get the most out of the great outdoors. Let's see what we've got in store for them. Right, you lot, okay, our first mission is I'm going to put you all to work building critter cribs. Wild animals are pretty good at making their own homes, but that doesn't mean we can't give them a helping hand. So we're gonna be making a bird box, a hedgehog home, and a bug block. Are you all ready? Yeah! Are you excited? Yeah! Are you bursting with enthusiasm? Yeah! That's what I like to hear, let's go. So first up, my brave bunch of wild adventurers. I want you to take a bird box and I want you to make it beautiful. So Dejani, Jacob, come on, let's dazzle. Next, we're gonna do a hedgehog home. This one's great because we're gonna be enticing one of our cutest, uh, most adorable native mammals into our back garden. So Lola and Peter, get stuck in. And then for you two, what we're going to do is we're going to make a bug block. So we're going to go out and we're going to find all the material that we need to entice bugs and amphibians into our back gardens. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you set? Yeah. Let's go. Many wild birds will nest in natural holes in trees, but real estate like that is in very short supply. So bird boxes are a perfect alternative. Making it out of wood makes sure that it won't superheat, but they can be reinforced so that predators like woodpeckers can't get in. And where you position it is vitally important, particularly well out of the reach of cats. The hedgehog is every gardener's best friend because they're natural pest control, feeding on things like slugs and snails. To make a hedgehog home, it's best done out of wood, and it should have a porchway at the front that prevents things like foxes and cats and badgers getting in and eating the hedgehogs. They do like to find their own bedding, but providing them with something like straw or perhaps newspaper can't hurt, particularly when they're getting ready for hibernation. The bug block couldn't be easier. Essentially, it's just a wild corner of your garden with a bunch of rotting logs there. But if it's a good one, it could attract hundreds of species of invertebrates, and those in turn will bring in frogs, newts, toads, slow worms, birds, bats. It is the key to a wild garden. The longer you leave it, the better it'll get. Right, let's find out how our guys are doing. Oh, I am very, very impressed. You are a bunch of animal artists. Talk me through your bug home. Uh, we made it look like a bug to um, get more bugs attracted to it. Um, we got some logs which were um, going a bit rotten and we found um, we found lots of bugs inside and we also found a toad in there. I think it's, it's fantastic and it's already working which is really good news. And uh, what about the glorious hedgehog home? Well we put stars on the roof to make it look like it was a night sky. On the side we put um, something saying welcome home. Well I reckon that any self-respecting hedgehog is going to love living somewhere like that. That is a palace for hedgehogs and the bird box. This is the bird box and we first painted it and then we thought we could make it look a bit more natural. I have to say this lot is superb but it's not going to attract a tremendous amount of wildlife right here. What we need to do is find an appropriate place for our various wildlife homes. So, come on, let's get going. Making a critter crib like this is easy, it's fun, and it genuinely works. It'll attract wildlife into your garden and encourage the stuff that's there to stay. So go on, make an animal a home. If you enjoyed this video, then stick around for another Brave Bones Club adventure. I'm kind of hoping it'll give you some ideas for your own adventures to have at home.